The battle of the ages has come to the Israelites. A giant by the name of Goliath taunted the Israelites, requesting that they send their best fighter to fight him, and that the winner of the battle will own the losing army as slaves. Each time that Goliath would come out to taunt the Israelites, the Israelites would flee in fear, trembling at the sight of this giant. What exactly was Goliath like? Well, his armor weighed a total of 125 pounds, and the tip of his spear was 15 pounds. He also had a sword in his sheath, so he had quite the amount of gear on him. How tall was Goliath now? Well, have you seen an NBA basketball player who's 7 feet tall compared to other people? Well, try adding two more feet to that player and you'll have Goliath's height. Goliath towered over his enemies, and so there was much validity behind the fear that the Israelites felt. Saul the king even declared that the person who kills Goliath would be able to marry his daughter as well as be exempt from paying taxes for their entire family. What an amazing deal! You get to be related to the king and not have to pay any taxes. You would think that someone would take the king up on that deal, but Goliath was on a level of his own. For 40 days and 40 nights, Goliath taunted the army of Israel. And then David came into the scene. Sent on a mission to deliver supplies to his brothers and their captain, David left the sheep to the care of another shepherd and witnessed the Israelites flee when Goliath would come forth to taunt their army. He arrived to the army and heard about the great reward for killing this giant. Saul heard of David's presence, so he sent for him, and with boldness, David declared, Don't worry about this Philistine. I'll go fight him. Saul thought little of David regarding his fighting ability and denied his request to fight. Now David was still young, in his teenage years, compared to the much older and more capable soldiers in the army. David didn't allow his age or looks to stop him, however. David tells Saul, Your servant used to keep his father's sheep, and when a lion or a bear came and took a lamb out of the flock, I went out after it and struck it, and delivered the lamb from its mouth. And when it arose against me, I caught it by its beard, and struck and killed it. Your servant has killed both lion and the bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them, seeing he has defied the armies of the living God. Moreover, David said, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. What boldness, what guts, what courage. David knew that it wasn't in his ability. It was in God's ability. Jesus tells his disciples in Matthew 19, 26, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. David knew that God could accomplish anything. David went into the battlefield, picked up five smooth stones along the way, and ran toward his enemy, Goliath, with great resolve. He took his sling and his stone and flung the rock dead center into Goliath's forehead, vanquishing his enemy and bringing victory to Israel. Now what are some giants in your life that have been taunting you day and night? If you could do something about these giants, would you? David knew what had to be done. He didn't rely on his own strength. He relied on God's strength. That's what it's all about. Relying on God's strength and believing that he'll accomplish the victory. Our duty is simply to show up and believe that God can do it. David showed up and Goliath fell. So take heart and know that no matter what situations you face, God has a solution. So seek Him diligently in prayer and in His Word, the Bible, and live with expectation that He will come and bring victory to your situation.